watching Let's Chat. You know, with COVID changing so many aspects of day-to-day -day life, imagine, I know many of you are faced with this problem, what about if you have a loved one that's in a nursing home or a senior care facility? You can't get in, you can't put your arms around them. So how are you gonna make sure that their needs are best being taken care of? We had turned to that for many other questions as well. It's our attorney friend, Gary Massey. Gary, good morning. Good morning. What happens in a situation like this when they will not let you into the, to the uh, nursing home to see your loved one? How do you know that they're being given the best care possible? Well, there are a few things you can do, Chip. Um, the main thing you need to do is you need to talk with the nursing staff. You need to talk with the director of nursing or whoever the, the nurse is in charge of your, uh, of your loved one, people who are providing the care and get specific updates. Um, there are also possibilities maybe if you can take a device, whether an iPad or a phone or something like that, uh, to the to the facility and have them take it to your loved one. If your loved one is able to communicate, if they're able to converse with you, uh, you can, maybe you can, if you, I know some people go and talk to them or look at them through the window, right. uh, but some people do it through uh, digital means or, or things like that. But the main thing is to get information directly from the nursing home. And if you can get it from the patient themselves, that's, that's really helpful too. Has your firm seen an increase in cases related to situations like this where the care of the patients has decreased since this COVID kicked in? I don't think we've seen a decrease in care, Chip. Uh, I think the the providers are, you know, all this, the people on the front lines in these facilities are really doing the best they can. Uh, but we have certainly seen a lot of cases. It's not really more cases than we normally see because we normally see a lot of cases, um, but uh, it's, it's certainly a concern. The bigger thing is the frustration where we get calls from clients and, and they say, uh, my mother, you know, my loved one is in this facility and they've called and they've told me that they've got to do a procedure to address a bed sore. And I didn't even know they had a bed sore. I didn't even know this thing was here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what I should do about it. You know, and so there's just this, this big lack of information and lack of understanding of what's going on and inability to be in the room and to really get a feel for, for the situation that's really frustrating for people. And you have to understand too, folks, if you are in this situation, Remember, the staff at the nursing home, their first responsibility is to give the patient care. I know they may not get back with you and communicate as often as you would like or to the depth of which you would like, but they've got other patients and a lot of times those facilities are running short on staffers because of COVID, correct? That's true. That's true. And that's one of the big problems that we see is, is facilities not providing enough staff uh, and the staff members not having enough to do. Uh, and so then they're not able to provide the care and the level of care that's required. And so these unnecessary and preventable injuries result. Uh, and that's really sad. And it's one of the things that we've always recommended to people that you go and visit your loved one at least a few times a week, more than, you know, more than every now and then. And so the staff knows that you're there and go at different times. But when you can't do that, uh, you really need to make sure that they know you're interested, you're paying attention, and, and that uh, your loved one uh, needs attention and protection. If you're the designated, uh, that if, if, that you're level. The, if you're the designated person for this individual in the nursing home, what legal rights do you have? Well, you have a right to, uh, to information. You have a right to be told about everything that's being done for the patient, every problem the patient's having. You even have a right to review the chart and to see what the medical records say, and to see what's in there. Uh, you know, another thing some people have done if they've, they've hired uh, healthcare workers, private healthcare workers, and many facilities are letting those private sitters into the facilities when they won't let the family members in there. And so some people have been able to get uh, information that way as well, Chip. How can you make this easier? And this may not be such a black and white legal answer, but how do you make this easier before the loved one gets into this situation? Well, everybody needs a durable power of attorney uh, giving somebody else the legal authority to act on their behalf if they become unable to see after their own affairs. If, if, we, if we become uh, incapacitated, is what the, the law uh, calls it, uh, then we need somebody who can step into our shoes so that it takes away the argument, well, you don't have the authority to see these records or you don't have the authority to, to get this information. You want to have a legal piece of paper saying this person has designated me as their representative, which is called a power of attorney, uh, to, to operate on their behalf and to make sure that they're getting the things that they need. And you should always have those updated periodically, I would think, just 
in case, right? Right, right. You got to be very careful who you give them to because it gives them a lot of authority. Uh, and so you got to make sure it's a person who you trust and who loves you and is committed to your best interests. All right, good advice as always. Gary Massey, thank you so much. And we'll see you here over the next couple of weeks and hope you and your family stay healthy and away from COVID and away from flu. Get in touch Same with Gary you. at Massey and Associates. They are out on Lee Highway. You can call them at 697-4529. That's 697-4529. And the website, MasseyAttorneys.com masseyattorneys.com. We're in the middle of COVID, flu season right around the corner. How do we protect ourselves? The answer next.